Hi traders, this is Andrew Masters from FIBO Group and welcome to my weekly Forex report. On Monday, the markets will be closed in Australia and Europe and traders will pay attention to the American session with the release of the personal spending index as well as the pending home sales figure, which should create some trading opportunities and volatility in the US dollar. On Tuesday during the Asian session, we'll see the unemployment rate from Japan, which has held steady in recent times at 3.2% but should still create some trading opportunities in the Japanese yen. In the American session, we'll see the latest consumer confidence index from the US, which is well below expectations at 92 last month, against analyst forecasts for a number of 97, and another repeat performance may see the US dollar come under pressure. On Wednesday during the Asian session, the market will await industrial production figures from Japan, which see traders focus on the Japanese yen. In the European session, We'll see key data out of Germany as the latest consumer price index figures are released to the market for the month of March. The figure came in at 0.4% last month and has been on the rise over the past year, which shows that the stimulus package from the ECB may be kicking in, and another good number should lend some support to the euro. On Thursday, to start off the trading session, investors will pay attention to Asia with the release of the new home sales data for the month of February. The housing market in Australia is finally showing signs of cooling down, and this release may provide more evidence which may see the Australian dollar come under pressure. In the European session, we'll see GDP comers from the UK, which came in at 0.5% last month, and are a little low at the moment for the Bank of England to start raising interest rates. So traders will be hoping for a better figure to give some much needed support to the pound. Also in Europe, we'll see CPI figures from the Eurozone, which continue to remain in negative territory, and we may see the euro suffer if there's a repeat performance. On Friday from China, we'll see key data as the market awaits key manufacturing figures due during the Asian session. There are fears at the moment that the world's second largest economy is slowing down, and recent data has backed up this claim, and we may see the Chinese yuan come under pressure on the back of more disappointing news. The highlight of the day will be during the American session with the release of the unemployment rate, as well as the non-farm payrolls figure from the US. There's speculation that the Fed may lift rates this month, so this release will be closely watched, and a good number may see the US dollar jump significantly. That's all from me at FIBO Group, and I'll see you all next week.